hello and welcome back to um, Inception. Bwah. Was Remember? that was that the most painful ye of all time? Yeah, it was. That was the most painful ye of all time. So, L Lily, sorry. <laughs> Inception. Bwah, shit. Good point. I often yeah. forget. Perhaps something here could work. All right. Oh, hang on. I need to reset. There we go. Good Let's do shit. Our time again, so we know what we're doing. Yep. I need time for her right now. Mm. So did she throw an encyclopedia in your face, huh? Did she? Shut up, dude. What are you guys doing here? It's starting. Let's go get a good spot. Wait, I don't remember that happening. Something must have changed. Yeah, something must have. Hey, don't squeeze. I guess we're going this way. Yee. What's this shit? Well, this is certainly different. Wait a minute. This isn't a real change. This is... May I have your attention, please? <laughs> oh no. Watts, what are you doing? Watts. What's he wearing? As you know, I am a res <laughs> representative <laughs> sent from NASA in all its glory. And I'm here to tell you all about it. <laughs> Hit it, Timmy. Wow, that was terrible. Once <laughs> you're a dick. <laughs> but that's funny. But I digress. <sighs> Anyways, I know that many of you are wondering. What chances do I have of doing something as awesome as adventuring in another realm? Oh my god. <laughs> to inhale the sweetness of Venus. To swim counterclockwise through the rings of Saturn. Or perhaps just chillin' at the backside of the moon. Well, here at NASA, we believe that with enough will, everyone has the potential. It could be you. Or you. Or perhaps... You! I don't want to go to the moon. Then you're in luck! Wait, what? Why not? Why should I? I'm happy here on Earth as it is. Well, don't you want to go there even a little bit? No, why? Not even a tiny bit? Um, no? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Please don't traumatize the child. Well, as an official NASA recruiter, I shall go over some facts about the moon. The music picked up pace. Picked up key. <laughs> to start off, the moon is 4.5 billion years. <laughs> oh god, this goes on for some time. And did you know that its surface is about as big as Africa? It's true. In fact, if you try to bike around the moon... Oh my god. <laughs> Why is she letting him keep doing this? Also, it takes 1.5247 seconds for light to travel to the moon from here. If you drive a flying car, it takes 130 days. Random person, I knew that. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Last but not least, people who go to the moon get rich and famous. We all know that rich plus famous equals groupies. So, that concludes my presentation. Remember, NASA welcomes any of you, especially if you're a brunette. <laughs> What the fuck, Watts? <laughs> <laughs> He's trying so hard. He's trying so damn hard. Well, what do you think? NASA probably wouldn't hire you, but I suppose it was a is blatant enough for this. I do try pretty hard. <sighs> Whatever. Are you gonna go see if that worked? Of course. Be right back. Back. Report. Utter failure. Deuce. Hey, don't get discouraged. I'm sure there are still things to be done. 
Such as? Well... You can go to a layer memory. Can you afford the Lunar Trip Lottery? If you sell this house, you sure can. No. Is the diagnosis certain? Yes, in fact. <laughs> Did you know that NASA has excellent healthcare plans? <laughs> it's true for both of you and the spouse. Oh no. No! <laughs> Free pony rides in space. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, look, a wedding. Good for you. But here's a real guess where you should go for the honeymoon. Oh my god. They're trying so hard! <sighs> River? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Technetic glass slippery. Johnny! J John! You dumbass! <laughs> the cucumber? <laughs> These guys are the worst inceptors ever. <laughs> They're the worst at inception. It's true. You know what? This just isn't working. This is kind of the premise of inception, isn't it? It's kind of true. Except with more emotional stuff and more... Well, that's debatable, actually. It's more than just not working. It's ridiculous. More time. Freaking professionals. I didn't sign up for the job to run around yelling at them like an idiot. You didn't? <laughs> <laughs> Look, maybe this lack of sleep's getting to us. Had I known that we'd be an all-nighter, I would have brought coffee. I agree. You should have seen the movie I constructed earlier. What movie? Exactly. <laughs> anyway, as valuable as time is here, this just isn't going anywhere like this. Let's take a break till morning. Hopefully Johnny can hang on till then. I don't know. I do have some calls to make. I don't, I don't know if he's going to be able to hang on until then. Oh, whoa, no something. It doesn't make sense. Why did the machine have no effect? Johnny's registered wish to go to the moon was successfully transferred, and yet there wasn't even a trace of him wanting to go to the moon after the transfer. <laughs> unless, unless a secondary condition for the desire was changed in the process. Only then would the same desire produce two different outcomes at two different points in time. There's no denying that River played an important role through it all. If there's anything that could have caused the core to change, she would be the top suspect. But of all the things, what exactly caused it? River. Just what exactly did you do? Perhaps in a memory that we're not seeing. Ah, the sun's rising. Something that I did want to bring up was that when River was asking uh, Johnny to describe the bunnies, it's like her asking him to say, what do you see in me? Like, describe this bunny, what else do you see? And he can't come up with anything other than what he sees at face value. And that's what she's seeing from him, from his perspective. Is that she... He only saw her at face value, something that would make him different. Anyways, we don't have much time left. You're telling me. I wonder if Neil came up with anything. Let's be perfectly honest, he's Neil. Hmm. Huh. 
<laughs> He's a dick. Uh, I don't know. He seems to. He seems a little invested now. Yeah, just a little bit. Hon honestly, I didn't expect him to care as much as he actually did. But I suppose this is his job. Uh, you can smell that squirrel Neil ran over all the way from over here now. No, I understand that part, but... Okay, did you confirm it in his records? And why, again, was this information not made available to us? Great. Or the medical... medical doctor, for that matter. Where did you get that coffee? Shh! Are you speaking with, he with the headquarter? Headquarter. Yes, I'll fill you in after. Now shh! shh, shh, shh. shh. Turning on the light. I'm not crying, you're crying. I'm, I'm not actually crying. Oh, no, you aren't. So, what are you going to tell them about John? I... I don't know. I'll probably make something up, but it's no use. Kids are smart nowadays. They'll figure it out. Put in a little bit of pictures of kids dabbing. <laughs> Okay. Kids are smart! Bullshit. Depends on the kind of kids. Might as well. It's the nature of life. There's nothing to hide. Alright. I answered all of my questions, but none of the questions I wanted to ask. Oh, hey. Before Johnny fell unconscious, he told me that you two would probably be coming soon. He said that you probably wouldn't get the chance himself, but... He wanted me to tell you thanks for him. So, thank you. I'm just gonna tell you, you can go to, uh, Watts now. Probably so. <laughs> well, I actually know that, but... I hope that's the case, honestly. I'm pretty sure. If not, edit out all the part where I'm wrong. Hmm. What is it? Seems like our little Johnny here has some hidden records from the old days. Hidden records? Hidden medical records, to be exact? Mm. Apparently, during his youth, he was administered a large dose of enhanced beta blockers. And, ladies and gentlemen, that's where we're going to end it today. So, uh, well, tune in I, next finish, time. Finish the dialogue. So that you can save that. We're gonna finish the dialogue, but after this, we're gonna quit. Trust me, it still won't. Re it still won't reveal what the plot twist is. Got it. That'll still be in the next episode. Enhanced of beta blockers, and what luck! They tend to have this little side effect on a curious thing called memories. Beta blockers. Johnny didn't have a heart condition, did he? Apparently not. Which leads one to wonder. The side effects, quote unquote, were intended to be merely just that to begin with. One, two, one, two, one, two. Just checking. And in such a large amount, its impact on his memories at the time of administration must have been significant. So he's forgotten something. You think that's what kept us out of his earliest memories? Well, it's not the machine, I'll tell you that. The maintenance department yelled at me for scolding them. So what now? They yelled at you because you're a dick! I was just given the reconfiguration frequencies that should get us past the blockers. And once we're in his childhood, it might finally be early enough to transfer his desire for it to work. Then what are we waiting for? But just one thing. Of course, there's always that one thing. In order to activate the new frequencies, we'll need a trigger. A trigger. Something that exists strongly in the bridging inaccessible memory. We'll need to give it to John for him to stimulate his memory internally. But what do we know of that? We've only gotten a glimpse of his childhood memories. <laughs> and even if we find a childhood photo of something, John's unconscious. Yeah, back to square one. You know, 
This job hasn't been such a pain in the ass for me since Nora's case last year. Likewise. This is killing me. I'm going to get some fresh air. Ahem. Forgot my coffee. No, beta blocker. Alright, there you go. A drug with the side effect of dampening memories by interfering with stress hormones. Alright. Well. And there's a cliffhanger, folks. I hope you enjoyed it, and stay tuned till next time! And until yep. then, stay interesting. Uh -huh.